Islamic character of peace, that Islam is one of the most misunderstood religions and misunderstood philosophies and concepts around the world. Particularly our Western nations and our Western brothers, because of lack of interaction, lack of direct knowledge and direct communication with the Muslim communities, they have been given a wrong concept that Islam or the Muslims are for fanaticism, extremism, terrorism, and they can't understand the real message and character of peace as given by Islam, Quran, Sunnah, Holy Prophet, and the Muslim community as a whole. The word Islam, it means peace to provide the peace, to be in peace, and to let others live in peace. This is what Islam means. I have just given the literal and etymological literal meaning of Islam. Its root word is silm and salama. It means peace and nothing else. It means peace, happiness, obedience, submission, tranquility, betterment, welfare of the society. And Islam essentially is against any kind of conflict that would be detrimental to the benefit of humanity. Holy Prophet ﷺ stated, Khairul Islam ifshaw salam The best of Islam is to promote and spread the peace. This is the best character in Islam. Worship of Islam that is a message of peace right from its beginning to its end. Islam has communicated a very significant message of peace through the meeting worlds. When Muslims meet one another, they as Muslims are supposed to say, Assalamu alaikum, it means peace be on you. This is the meeting world. When we are in our worship, praying Almighty Allah, during our worship, compulsorily, we have to send our best of our gifts to our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, during the prayer. And we say, O oh, our Prophet, peace be upon you. This is the message of peace which you convey to the Prophet. When he come to its end, we finish our prayer, turning our face towards right and left, and we say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. There should be peace for everyone who is on my right side, and there should be peace to everyone who is on my left side. <laughs> then there is a dua, a prayer, with which we end our prayer. And that is dua, prayer of peace. We raise our hands, and we ask just peace from Almighty Allah, saying, this is an attributive name of our Lord, Allah, the creator of the universe. In Islam, his, one of his attributive names is peace. He himself is peace. We say, O oh, peace, you are the originator of peace. We ask peace from you. Give peace to us. Return peace to everyone. Give peace in this life. Give us peace in life hereafter. And he has mentioned that the paradise in life hereafter is also under the name of peace. So this is just to mention what is the significance of peace in Islam. Islam from the very beginning to its end is peace and nothing else. Anything detrimental to peace, anything damaging to peace, anything conflicting to peace, anything contradictory to peace, it has no, absolutely no concern with Islamic teaching. And whosoever may be, if he has any kind of terroristic character, extremistic character, any character detrimental to the welfare of humanity, any character detrimental to the global peace, any character detrimental to the societal peace of mankind, that is absolutely anti-Islamic to our faith. Holy Prophet ﷺ stated, Wallahi la yu'min, Wallahi la yu'min, Wallahi la yu'min, Qila man ya Rasulullah, Qala allazi la ya'manu jaruhu bawa'iqahu. Prophet Muhammad ﷺ stated, By God, he is not a faithful. By God, he is not a faithful. By God, he is not a faithful. 
then companions asked who o holy prophet who is not a faithful he said the one who does not provide peace to his neighbors holy prophet muhammad peace be upon him sallallahu alaihi wa sallam he is defined who is the believer who the believer is he defined al mu'minu man ammanahu nas ala anfusihim wa amwalihim he says the believer according to islam is the one who provides with surety and guarantee the peace to the people security to the people and guarantees the security of life and security of honor and security of property to the mankind only that one is to be considered as muslim as faithful and then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once he was performing tawaf he was circling the kaaba this is the kaaba the house of allah in makka during his tawaf during his spiritual seven circles he stood at a place and he addressed the kaaba and while he address addressing the kaaba he stated by swearing he said i swear by almighty allah who is the lord of this house who is the creator of this house and he stated o kaaba o house of god although you being house of god have a greater respect and honor in the hearts of muslim but i being prophet of islam swear by god that the blood of a man and the respect of a man honor of a man and security to the property of a man is much dearest to almighty allah than his own house islam pays respect to the mankind this is how islam pays respect to the humanity this is islam how pays respect to the human beings their welfare their prosperity their happiness their rights their well being their respect their status their sanctity their glory there is nothing more dear to islam and to almighty allah than human beings this is how i know i am speaking at the moment in a country norway the country of scandinavia particularly this part of the world is known for human welfare is known for the human betterment this is known for the human uh, you can say good thoughts for the humanity all over the world so i would like to communicate the message what islam is i would say the whole mankind has learned the lesson of humanity from islam because islam was revealed 1400 years before this is this was the latest message of peace and the same message was given by the jesus the christ through his holy book the same message was given by the prophet moses the same message was given by all of the prophets and messengers who were raised from time to time for the betterment and the guidance of mankind